morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion, Praying Through the Psalms. Today we are praying Psalm 58. The author of Psalm 58 is David. This psalm is about unjust rulers or unjust judges. David might have written this psalm when he was hiding himself in a cave at Adullam, which is in 1 Samuel 22nd chapter, first verse. We know that David was trying to escape from Saul's intention of killing him. And so he had to go to different places. He had to go to hills, valleys, forests and different places. Now this time he went into a cave at Adullam. Now, David got a reliable information from a kind of messenger that the judges, kind of rulers who aligned themselves with Saul, who supported Saul in his kingdom, they passed a judgment on David. They accused David of a treason, a kind of crime, which they felt David wanted to be a king, dethroning Saul, which was not true. But then they wanted to win a favor from Saul, and so they passed a judgment. They passed a judgment that David must be killed. They passed a death sentence on the death sentence on David and David was very sad about that and now David challenges their decision David challenged their intentions David challenged their conscience David challenged through the psalm all the judges this is the background of Psalm 58 my friends now, coming to know the unfair judgment passed by these rulers passed by these judges now David challenged like this. Do you indeed pronounce justice, O guards? Guards means O judges, O rulers. Do you judge fairly, you children of Adam? So you don't give a fair judgment. No, you freely engage in crime. Your hands dispense violence to the earth. You make the innocent suffer. Your judgments are invalid. You don't give a fair judgment. You create a lot of crime. You create a lot of violence. This is how David opened Psalm, Psalm 58. Let us continue. The wicked have been corrupt since birth. Who are these wicked people who have been corrupt since birth? For David, it has been the judges. It has been these rulers who passed a wrong judgment on David, a death sentence. So David is very angry. He calls these judges as wicked ones. Since their birth, they have been corrupt. In the sense, they are thoroughly bad. Liars from the womb. They have been liars from the womb. David is very angry. They have gone astray. These judges who are, who are supposed to uphold who's supposed to stand for the truth. Now they are telling lies. They told lies to the king. They passed a wrong judgment on David. Now David doesn't stop here. He continues to challenge these unjust judges, their unfair judgment. He challenged them thoroughly. So he also called these judges as serpents. Let us now read those verses. Their venom is like the venom of a snake. Their venom means their words are like the venom of a snake. Their words are like poison of a snake. They would kill the innocent people. They would destroy the innocent lives. Like that of a serpent stopping its ears. They don't hear the other version. They only pass their judgment. They like to win the favor from the king. My friends, this is how David continued to challenge these judges. He continued to really challenge their words. Next part is the prayer of David. This is a very strange prayer, a weird prayer. Sometimes we can be scandalized to read these sentences, to read these verses. You might wonder how can we pray this psalm? My friends, we need to understand David's position, David's situation when he prayed like this. He was given an unfair treatment. He was very much let down was in deep trouble and so he was very much bogged down, he was discouraged, he was down, he was sad and he was angry also. So in that mood he prayed like this, Oh God, smash the teeth in their mouth, 
O God, break their teeth. Break the fangs of these lions, O Lord. Fangs means long tooth. Make them vanish like water flowing away. Just water vanishes fast. Trodden down, let them wither like grass. Like grass, let them wither. Let them dissolve like a snail that oozes away. Snail is a small little sea creature. Like an untimely bird that never sees the sun. Suddenly like the brambles or thistles have whirlwind snatched them away. Then the just shall rejoice to see vengeance and bathe their feet in the their feet in the blood of the wicked. My friends, this is how he prayed. But then here what is interesting to note is that David didn't want to take vengeance on these judges, on these enemies. He didn't want to touch them. He didn't want to kill either Saul or anybody for that matter. He wanted God to take action on these people. He wanted God to be the judge and punish these people. Now let us see how David closed this psalm, Psalm 58. Then people will say, Truly there is a reward for the just. There is a God who is judge on earth. David thought if God would punish these people, destroy these unjust judges, these enemies, then all people would think that there is a God who is a judge and there is a kind of reward for the just people. Well, my friends, whether God would act as we think or has his own plans, the truth is that he is the judge and he would reward Pick up a couple of things from this psalm, my friends. Psalm 58. God is the judge. He is the just judge who would reward the just people. He is also the one who would punish the wicked, evil ones, the unrepentant ones. We don't take any vengeance on anybody. We don't condemn anyone. Let God do that. It is his right. It is his due. Secondly, we don't pray the way the way David prayed in this psalm, Psalm 58. Tooth for tooth was okay those days. In addition, we need to understand David's position. He was very much let down. He was very angry. Well, we pray the other way. Christ taught us a new way. He gave us new commandment. He told us to pray for those who hurt us. He told us to forgive our enemies, to love our enemies. This is his new commandment. We need to love our enemies. We need to pray for those people who really hurt us, who really disturb us. This is the new way. This is the Christ's way. This is our Lord's way. So now let us forgive those who hurt us. Let us pray for our enemies. Let us love all people. Let us love our enemies. With these thoughts in mind, we now pray Psalm 58. Do you indeed pronounce justice, O gods? Do you judge fairly, you children of Adam? No, you freely engage in crime. Your hands dispense violence to the earth. The wicked have been corrupt since birth. Liars from the womb, they have gone astray. Their venom is like the venom of a snake, like that of a serpent stopping its ears, so as not to hear the voice of the charmer or the enchanter with cunning spells. O oh God, smash the teeth in their mouths. Break the fangs of these lions, Lord. Make them vanish like water flowing away. Trodden down, let them wither like grass. Let them dissolve like a snail that oozes away, like an untimely birth that never sees the sun. Suddenly, like brambles or thistles, 
have the whirlwind snatched them away. Then the just shall rejoice to see the vengeance and bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. Then people will say, Truly there is a reward for the just. There is a God who is judge on earth. Now let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the many blessings. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of our fellow human beings, for our families, friends, and all those people who love and care for us. Thank you, Lord, the way you brought us together today to praise and thank you, to adore you, to love you. Lord, we, we bow down before you at this time. Lord, in a very special way, thank you for the gift of Psalm 58. Each time David had his own problems, each time David was in deep trouble, he came to you in prayer. He trusted in you. He poured out his issues, his problems. He poured out all his problems to you in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful message that we got to come to you every time and pour out our problems to you. Lord, as David trusted in you, help us to always trust in you, to love you, to love your way, to follow your commandments. Lord, help us to forgive our enemies, love our enemies, pray for those who disturb us, who hurt us. Lord, this is the way your son Christ has given us, a new way, a new commandment. Give us that courage. Give us your spirit as to really follow your son's way. Commandment of love. Lord, bless all of us with love, with generosity, kindness, compassion, empathy. As we begin the new day, give us the strength needed to follow your way, to follow your commandments. Bless all your people who watch this program praying through the Psalms. Unite them. Bring them joy and peace in their homes. Bless all the sick people who suffer with the different diseases, ailments. Console them. Strengthen them. Heal them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Psalm helps your faith journey and that is our sincere wish and prayer for each of you. Thanks for watching our program, Praying Through the Psalms. Kindly keep watching this program on JCK Creations, both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people. They could be part of this program and benefit much. Thank you. See you with Psalm 59. Until then, stay blessed.